guys welcome back to my channel my name is Vito and welcome back to Vito's garage and so in today's video as you can see I'm holding uh, the back of the seat the back panel of the front seat uh, and as you can see this one has a really nice net and it's not sagging anymore that's because I fixed it all up and I made it look like this so this video is going to be about how to fix your sagging net in your classic Mercedes and I see this problem all the time in a lot of Mercedes including W201, W124, W126, W123 and so on. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you how you can easily fix this problem and this is a free video so there's I don't as you guys know I don't make on demand videos and I don't demand your money for things like these you know so you can easily watch my videos for free and you can fix your classic Mercedes no problem save classic Mercedes guys save all of them okay guys so when you open the door of your classic Mercedes and you look at this sagging net I mean this looks pretty ugly right you wish you were it was you know nice and tight and like looking like this so if you want your net to not sag and if you want to find out how to fix it and how to make it look like new again then stay tuned because I'm gonna show to you how you can go from this to this okay all right guys so to remove this panel uh, it's pretty simple just uh, you need a, a small stubby screwdriver like this or if you lift the seat all the way up in the back then you can probably use a longer screwdriver uh yeah and then there's going to be a couple screws that we need to remove okay so i'm going to take those off and uh the panel is going to be pretty much off This is tight. Okay, since I did the deep clean of this car on the inside, I'm gonna put something in here. So I don't want any junk to fall on the carpet, if anything. All right. Wow, so I have to figure something out. I'm gonna take these off and I'll get back to it because it's gonna be a while. Wow, look at that rusty boy coming out. That explains a lot. You don't have to take it out all the way. Um, yeah, because uh, they can stay in there. Just kind of remove it as much as you can. And then uh, I'm gonna take this panel off. This boy's rusty too. What's going on? All right, so after the two screws are out, um, you can go ahead and pull it towards you like this. Okay, and then you're just gonna pull it down carefully. Just wiggle it carefully down. There you go, and we have it out. So upon inspection, after I removed this rear cover of this passenger seat, you can see that this cable doesn't attach to anything, and this cable actually is supposed to move the headrest, but it's not working. The motor itself is working, it's spinning, the switch is working, but this mechanism is broken. So I'll just leave it like this for right now, and then in the future we'll probably just fix it up. Um, 
so yeah as of right now i'm not too worried about that all right guys so here's our net right here that you see is all saggy it's ugly it's not good so i'll show it to you really quick it's pretty easy on the back side you have one two three four five six screws six Phillips screws that you have to remove in order for this to separate now keep in mind on some of the um on some of the um other chassis mercedes you're gonna see that you there are no screws right here like some of them actually have clips in here so you just have to consult your service manual factory service manual and you have to see or find resources online how to take off your you know this net assembly from your particular car uh, so on the w1201s on the 190es it's actually pretty simple uh, and pretty much you won't break anything because there are some cars that you actually have to pry this out and you can break the clips which would really suck but on these ones you literally just remove six screws and that's it this assembly just comes off so let me do it really quick and I'll show it to you what's next damn it where's my screwdriver uh... oh yay found it is that it? Oh, no way. That's not it. Wait, I'm feeling it. Oh, it's under this thing. Oh, boy. <laughs> yes, I know, guys. I need a haircut. I'm getting it today. I'm just so done with this uh, hair. Remember, don't lose any of the screws. It's really important. So you need to have all of them installed. You know what I've been thinking lately, guys? Can't wait to have my own shop finally and have all these Mercedes with me. That's my goal. All right. That's pretty cool to have a date here. 23. 01 1991 it's original for this car sie sprechen sie deutsch cool so took this off you see we're gonna have to clean this area nicely some junk in here now put it aside okay here's your net assembly okay you see this you have to take this off oh no, don't do that. Reset. All right. So, <laughs> you see this top string and it has this. So you just take it off like that. Same on this side. You just take it off. And that's it. You pull it through. This just pulls through. Just be careful. Don't rip anything. Pulls through. Okay. This is your original. You can, as you can see, somebody has tried to uh, repair it by just tightening, tighten, you know, tightening it more, but it didn't really help much. Okay. I have a better solution for you. What do you want, bird? I don't have food. All right. So first thing is, I want to clean it. Okay, we're gonna clean it. Make it nice. Excuse all the mess here. I've just been working crazy on this car for the past several days. I've been doing the whole interior cleanup and uh, all that stuff. So, okay, wipe it down. You go all right that's done now clean this side okay done okay guys so here's my solution to the problem here's the string that you can stretch out right 
It has hooks on the end, but I'm gonna be getting rid of these hooks, okay? I'm gonna cut these hooks off because you don't have to have them. Because on this one, it's nice. It has this kind of like a, like a hook or something that you can like use to clamp onto or blah, 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 you know? So I'm gonna cut these hooks off because I don't need, you know, those hooks are just uh, pointless here. Um, and then as far as where you can get these you can get them anywhere online you can go to walmart i actually got these from walmart i bought like a whole bottle of those bungee cords and uh yeah this is essentially just a bungee cord so this is what you need and this is pretty small and uh this is this works perfectly on fixing these sagging nets so anyways i'm gonna cut these hooks off right now and then I'll get back to you and I'll show you how to actually install this uh, string onto that assembly and put everything back. All right, guys, here's our net. Here's our bungee cord uh, without the hooks. Okay, the hooks are cut off. And now it's pretty simple. Look, this goes in here, fits perfectly. Look at that. So what you're going to do is obviously feed it through so see where it ends at the end you'll have to stretch it all the way till here okay don't worry it's not gonna break You're just gonna have to kind of help it a little bit right here hold it this side carefully and you're gonna have to stretch it out okay stretch it out Okay, and then finally just hook it up to here like so and then there you have it okay so it looks this side this side and that's it it stays like that final thing is to put everything back together align this thing and install the screws okay all right guys this is how it looks nice and tight everything and when you're tightening these uh, screws, make sure you tighten them, um, and don't but don't over tighten them because something is gonna crack. Just tighten them enough so this assembly doesn't move around. Okay. And when you tighten these, just make sure it does the the nut after you tighten the screw. Make sure it doesn't move around. Okay. Uh, it's all tight. So that's it. Let's go ahead and install this bad boy back on the car. All right, guys, the nut is installed. Looks amazing. Now we can say that our classic Mercedes is a real Mercedes. Hi right, guys, thanks so much for the, watching this video. That's gonna be it today. Thanks for everything once again. Thanks for your support and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and share this video so others can see this video and repair their broken seat nets. Take care.